Fellas, you ever hear of Kickstarter.com? Kickstarter.com is a site where all of your wildest dreams can come true. Like a cordless detachable three-axis gimbal camera. Oh my god, this thing went crazy. What about a fancy ruler? That's right, you could get all these things and more at Kickstarter.com. However, not all Kickstarters are created equal. I have been made aware of a fantastic subreddit called Shitty Kickstarters, where people have compiled and curated some of the worst products ever featured on the site. So we're gonna look at the shitty Kickstarters and see if maybe there are some hidden gems in here, right? Maybe there's some, some stuff that I would back or we would back. Some things that were before their time. Something that would be fantastic now in the year 2023. Let's take a look and hope we don't get banned. First up, a phone battery that looks like a condom and you can't recharge it and it has an awful name. Derp. <laughs> Funding for this project was suspended by Kickstarter? What did they do? Wait, Kickstarter turned them off? Oh my God. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> Futuring? Is that a word? <laughs> this was all the rage, dude. Early Kickstarter was so funny. It was just like YouTube creative free music with words popping up on the screen. Onward. Paradigms. Innovation. Virality. Futuring. Go forward? Go forward, Ness. Okay, I don't think this is real anymore. I think this is a bit. This is a j There's no way they said go forwardness. We're here today to introduce to you our new product. We've been working with our developers for the past year and a half, and we feel like our product is finally ready to hit the shelves. This guy knows way less about the product than he does. This guy is like the chief engineer. This guy made the music in the video trailer. He just keeps looking at him. Introducing Dirt, disposable emergency recharging pack. It's a small compact package that has a pre-charged 300 million hour battery. I mean, that's not a terrible idea. One-time use? I, okay, you don't buy a lot of these. I could see these at, like, sporting events or the airport. They make reusable ones. Yeah, but think of seven years ago. These are just battery packs or uh, battery banks, right? But, like, they didn't have things like these. We'll give you that extra boost of power to send an email, take a picture, make a phone call. When you <laughs> you take one picture. I need a boost! <laughs> You're like John Wick with the derps. <laughs> picture. <laughs> Email. With your help, we can make derps show up everywhere. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought they were doing a bit. <laughs> Is that like a joke? We can make derp show up everywhere. He's like, get it? Dude, I don't think this guy likes that guy. This guy is just here for the ride. He's just, he's a nice guy. <laughs> you know, like, look at how happy he was to get that high five. Look how happy he is. Yeah. Is that a condom wrapper? I, I, again, I, I don't think this is a terrible product, especially for back then. And like condom wrappers look visually, like not appealing. They, they would incite interest. It'd be like, what is that? Seriously. Think about liquid death. You know how popular that is? Cause it's a water that looks like a beer. Cause people are like, what is that? Oh, it's just water. What is that? Oh, it, it's not a condom. I'm telling you, bro. Isn't this terrible for the environment? I just realized these are disposable lithium batteries that you're throwing away at an, an incredible pace. If each of these gives your battery like 5%, you gotta have 20 of them to go back to 100. Somebody's just loading that shit up. And now for my favorite part, the comments. How will you guys get the batteries to the backers? Most carriers have restrictions on battery. Oh, plus eight is smart as hell. This seems incredibly wasteful and bad for the environment. Most power banks aren't that large. They can easily fit in a purse or pocket, and they don't look like condoms. Wait, did it say a shelf life of four months? Is that bad, though? I uh, I've seen worse products, all right? I could see this product being their starter product, and they expand. They expand after this is a big hit. They could have popped off with this. This was before its time. This is not a bad Kickstarter. L. Worst product ever made. The Ring by Logbar. Wearable input device that lets you control anything. Gesture, control, texture. Control anything? Oh my god. Could 5,161 people be wrong? I think not. <laughs> Engage TV. But tw that could go very wrong. You mean to send somebody $12 and you accidentally put a couple zeros on that? The waitress comes by and you're like, hey, can I get another round? No! My life savings! What if I draw a penis? You're paying for like DoorDash? So he's like, all right, how about a tip? Ah, yes, my good friend. <laughs> I just made a Disney Channel penis. 
da, 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 da. Oh my god, it's the pebble. Holy shit, dude. I forgot about the pebble. I thought that was so cool, dude. Help! <laughs> okay, I was just... I was kidding. But imagine you mean to, to say help. You're locked in somebody's basement. Help! And the P comes out as hello. And your dad is just like... Hi, son. <laughs> Ring is a wearable input device which will allow you to control almost anything. Almost anything. You just need to yeah. wear the ring and yep. tap on the side to start your gesture. Control home appliances simply sync a ring to them using your smart devices. You can connect directly or by using the hub. This is okay. That light bulb is. Or by using the hub. Uh, uh, that could be anything. That could be tornado warning in your area. Uh, this is one of those Capturing things I and think. Analyzing the fingers' that movement was also a challenging task. Could have been good and real i bet i don't think this this could have been a thing in 2013 our gesture recognition technology was still in its early stages however by 2014 it has been nearly perfected and is even precise enough to detect letters uh, <laughs> we are uh we're eight years later nine years later now and i i still don't like this shit now you can type text midair anywhere anytime you're gonna get fired dude you should not type midair texts to anyone another unique feature of ring is its advanced payment solution gateway when you <laughs> you're gonna get robbed and they're gonna grab your finger <laughs> type in your social you have to be like do this dude if somebody gets your ring you're fucked just put it on start authorizing all kinds of purchases We've already tested and confirmed that Ring works with numerous hardware, smart devices. Drones? This is a Metal Gear Solid boss, dude. Imagine a, a Metal Gear Solid boss with 10 rings. Just yeah, 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 yeah. With, with all the drones going in all directions, like Revolver fucking Ocelot. Oh my God. I gotta call Hideo now. You know what? Again, this is, this is before it's time. I could see this being a big deal in the year, like, 2053. Ahead of its time. That's that's the better way to put it, yeah. Give it a couple years, it'll be good. I cannot see why so many people have funded this. How do you expect it to be able to control every, something by waving your finger? Because the video showed it, dumbass. My first thought was, how are people smart enough to use computers and savvy enough to use Kickstarter? Stupid enough to blow 200 on this. $200? I guess a small price to pay for convenience. Many people aren't aware just how much Apple restricts third-party apps. Oh, yeah, Apple would have killed that shit. All right, maybe it's not as good as I thought. I thought that shit wasn't that bad, actually. I could see that going crazy. What happened when they shipped the buyers? Oh, that's a good question. I never got mine. Waste of money. Mine isn't storage. Android app was always lacking. It used to crash. I have two of these. This dude is the fucking conductor. I thought this just never came out, but I guess it did. Oh, not to everybody. So they did send out, I guess. They sent it out. This could have been worse. Another fucking stick. $150 to talk with the creator. $12.50 for the stick. Not to be used as a weapon. Winky face? What does that mean? Expandable staff that expands upon small friction force. Significantly stronger force is required to retract. What are we using the staff for? Oh no. Here he comes! Oh my god. Fancy Harry! Oh god! Second phase! Second phase! Jeff the Grey and Jeff the White. Yeah, you have to fight them both at the same time later. It's raining! Could you not wait? Look at the rain in the... Did you have to record this now? Imagine you have this in your back pocket and it accidentally expands and you shish kebab yourself. You see an attractive lady walking down the street. <laughs> This shit goes through your thigh. I want to use the funds to start my own business mass producing and modifying tectonic hybrids in the future while distributing them to the public. Oh my god, he's a kaleidoscopic polyglot. I know what this word means, and I know what that word means, but I don't know what these two words mean together. Does anyone know what that means? Describe them individually. Kaleidoscope is like that shit you look through that's like fancy with all the 
the, the colors and stuff. And polyglot means you can speak a lot of languages. You thought I wouldn't know that. I know you thought I wouldn't know that, but I know words. Thank you, War, War Piggy. War Piggy donated before I even finished. He gave me those five gifts before I even knew. Besides not knowing what he really wants to actually do, this is remarkable. I need a lot of money. A lot. 3.5k. Yeah, that sounds like the average 18-year-old. I feel like if I was 18 years old and I was asking for a lot of money from the internet, and somebody's like, how much money do you think you get need to make, mass-produce, patent this huge product? I'd be like, I don't know. Probably like $5,000. That is the cringiest video I've seen in a long time. Yeah, and you deleted your account because you were trying to hide who you are. Not like my guy. Multilingualism as a kaleidoscopic experience. The many universes within. I'm not reading this shit. What the fuck? I'm not. <laughs> you think I'm downloading the full text PDF? Get the fuck out of my face. A power bank you never need to charge, thanks to the triangle. Some charging is necessary. My name is Vale Arsade. Hey. I am inventor. Today, I will introduce you to a new innovative energy power bank that does not need to be recharged for 1.5 minutes. All right. Minutes. Wait. This is currently up. Wait a minute. They might sell me. What is pen energy? <laughs> pen energy? energy is your personal energy. Shall we? With its advanced technology, uh, this power bank can charge your mobile phone. Okay, tablets, it's a GoPro, it's a strong AirPods, battery. Where are you getting the energy from, though? For up to 1.5 years. How are you doing that? Triangle is an innovative part made of silicon crystal. And oh, that's a triangle diff. It's a triangle diff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the triangle. The and then energy. the battery. The triangle with the battery. It's Tony Stark's heart. That shit running on Hextech Energy. This dude is Jace. What is the reason behind the 1.5 yeah, year lifespan? Yeah, please tell me. How do you do this, energy bro? Power bank? Firstly, it is reliant on the breakdown of the chemical structure of the triangle. Dude, he might be right. I don't know. I feel like this is like he's the bad guy in Iron Man 2. Like he's just he's been working on this shit for years. He's made something incredible. I, I maybe he's right. As a chem major, I don't know. You haven't learned about triangles yet, have you? When considering the devices that require a lot of energy in our daily li I don't even know. Yeah, super excited. Thanks for your support. The available is three colors. White, black, and what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe like half and half? This person has canceled their pledge. One year warranty. Environmental storytelling. Guy said, how long is this is his warranty active? One year. Cancel. Wait, I just realized the warranty is a year, but the power bank goes for a year and a Oh, you sneaky dog. <laughs> now I get why that guy canceled his pledge. Dragonfly, a fake device that will never work. <laughs> is there $500,000? I'll be the judge of that. The Dragonfly Future Phone. <laughs> I didn't like saying that. Oh, 700. Damn, that's a lot. Hi, I'm Bridget. Mobile technology is great, but we all know it comes at a cost. Oh, sure. It can yeah. really mess up your day when you're trying to type an email on your phone instead of your laptop, mm -hmm. or when you leave an important document at the Die. office. Oh, that's me when I leave an important document at the office. Oh, incoming call, new emails, laptop there, cup of coffee, just to let you know that I, I'm at work. Did they think that this wasn't, like, corporate enough? <laughs> Like the tie didn't give it away and all that they, they had to have the cup of coffee. Introducing the Dragonfly. Uh -huh. By folding and transforming, Dragonfly provides the devices you already use in an elegant new form. How? Creating one device out of three to truly simplify your life. Alright, that's a surface. With its right? dual displays, that... everything from working, playing, and communicating. What, what the fu- How did you do that? What the f- Wait, I feel like they just did a magic trick. Wait, what did- I did- uh, What did I miss there? Okay, okay, you, you lock in the screen. It's a tablet that attaches to a keyboard, like a Microsoft With Surface. Displays, and then you fold it, and the keyboard working, is actually play. another screen. And then it unfolds, and now it's two DS's? Oh, and this. What the fuck this is down here? What is that? Oh my god! Devices, oh, accessories, no, go, what the fuck? Stop! The You're past. folding my computer! Yay! The future. What the end of stuff? Featuring dual 7 inch touchscreen. Stop display, spinning it! Full size what? keyboard and multiple pointing options. It's like a butterfly knife of computers! The onboard smart pen lets you enjoy I, your dragonfly as a true tablet experience. I guess. What the fuck? How big is it? I can't tell how big this is. Smartphone, to Bluetooth, to laptop, we're all conveniently oh charged God. with one cord. Look at HDMI ports? Allows you to always be connected, not just to the world, but to your favorite devices in one transforming marvel. This is actually just a butterfly knife of screens. Dragonfly future phone capabilities extend yeah. far beyond what any other device can do. 
Engage. With two screens, now you can finally run two Android apps, full screen, side uh, by side. Okay, I, nobody needs to game this hard. Minecraft and Need for Speed at the same time? No way. Dude, you could just the put dragon. anything. That shit was in Playboy? In Technologizer? That's real? It was on Wikipedia. The Dragonfly represents the culmination of our founder, yeah. Jeff Badios. Jeff what? Jeff Badios. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, yes. Jeff Badios. Right there. There he is with his famous Dragonfly product. Complexity is your enemy. Any fool can make something complicated. It's hard. The simple? The fuck dual, <laughs> you're fucking touch screen displays. You're, with the full -size keyboard you're maneuvering it like a fucking orb. You're you're like channeling a Hadouken with this thing. That's simple? I love this thing, whatever it is. You need to buy one and review it. There's no way this shit still exists. I invoke my rights under Indiegogo's terms of use. I invoke my rights! Dude is casting a spell. Oh my god, everybody's invoking their rights. The rights invokers. <laughs> A coven of invokers. Okay, have you tried summoning? How about manifesting? Oh my god, what does sentencing mean for us backers for this project? Are you going to see any refunds? I'm happy to see this individual has been incarcerated. Oh, I guess the invocation where <laughs> Jeffrey Badio is incarcerated at SCR Fort Worth. And is scheduled for release in 2028. Well, I think Jeff is just fine. Silicon Valley computer executive convicted of defrauding investors after soliciting money. By That's him. That's old Jeffy B. Found guilty of all 12 counts across. That, yeah, you show somebody that, that dragonfly or whatever the hell it was called. Yeah, somebody's going to sue you. Fidget spinners were popular. Portable power banks are popular. Let's combine them and make a lunky fidget spinner with only 240 capacity. Smart zoom. Well, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Dude, actually, colors used to be so popular on Kickstarter. Like, if you offered your product in five colors, that was so cool. Colors are a W. Self-charging with every spin? I don't believe you. You can charge it by spinning it? Oh, that shit's the triangle. Compatible with all phones. Well, yeah. <laughs> it better be. Offers one emergency charge for one email or one photo. I love the idea of one emergency charge. You better need it. Unironically, I could see this going crazy. Oh, this is just the beginning. I agree. It's just the fidget spinner, but with a battery. Dude, if you had to get a power bank and you're trying to get a power bank for your like 14 year old son, who's really into fidget spinners for some reason, you get him this shit. If you're gonna use a fidget spinner anyway, yeah, exactly. For context, the iPhone 14 battery is 4323 mAh. This is 240. Okay, but you can spin it. Now, what do you think? Get one in every color, and now you got a whole bunch. They should have let you spin it while charging? How would that work? You're gonna get all tangled up. Did you even think about spinning it? You imbecile. You absolute moron. You didn't even notice it can spin? You didn't even think about that, did you? <laughs> Who's the smart one now? <laughs> ah, smart. Smart, yes. <laughs> I can literally spend all day spinning this gadget. It will provide what will likely boost my phone 200 mAh or less. That's pretty. Dude, could you attach it to, like, a car? Could you attach it to a car wheel and it goes, and then you have infinite energy forever? If there is a way to spin this unbelievably fast, pressurized air GG. I'm going to put my water pressure thing on it and, and shoot at the top of it, and it just goes crazy. I'll put the red knob on. Hell yeah. Cody invents a generator. No, that's my I I had the idea. That's my idea. That's literally what your car al alternator does. Damn, I'm pretty smart. I came with the, up with them by myself. Wow, those are some great Kickstarters. Don't you guys agree? Wouldn't you buy all those products? I would. I also bought this so I could poke Twitch chat so I could tell them to st stop lying. Take this and you better subscribe or I'm going to poke you too. All right, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, touch my finger, bro. Touch, touch the screen. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, there are a lot more Kickstarters and this video does well. There's going to be a part two. Twitch gets to see the part two no matter what. But if this does well, I'll do a part two on YouTube. So like, actually like and comment.